gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're going to go off topic, off subject. We're going to talk about something that's I've talked about, but I haven't talked about. Does that make sense? Mama, he ain't making no sense. Oh, he's all right. He's going to be okay. He sounds normal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about hyperthymesia. For some of you, you've never heard the word before, but you are aware of the word without knowing the word. I'm about to let this young man talk about it, just for a second. He's not a doctor. He's just explaining it. A rare medical condition called hyperthymesia, the ability to remember almost everything. Hyperthymesia, also known as highly superior autobiographical memory, is a brain disorder which leads people to remember large amounts of their life experiences in vivid detail. People with hyperthymesia can recall every day of their life in near perfect detail. As of the recording of this video, there are only around 70 people in the entire world diagnosed with hyperthymesia. This makes it an extraordinarily rare condition as well as a fascinating brain disorder. People affected with hyperthymesia describe their memories as uncontrolled creation. So when they record a big date, they can see a vivid depiction of that day in their mind. For most of them, memory is a blurred and fragmented collection of snapshots in our mind. It's like playing Sorry, hit the wrong button. Okay. Let me go ahead and explain this, ladies and gentlemen, why I am talking about this. When I was younger, prior to the operation that I've told you all about, I would have people coming and testing me about my memory, about everything I said. I had uh, what they called audiographic memory or phonographic. Basically, everything I heard, I could remember. Everybody, that's why I told you. The one significant thing is being around my father and listening to he and his friends talk, and they told me I had to be quiet, <laughs> and so I couldn't talk, but I had to listen. That's why I said I know things that I've never even studied. That was me, remembering what I heard. I was always good at that. Not so much events in our childhood. Most of us remember events in our childhood and we don't realize it. We remember those events because they were significant. They stood out. But all the little day-to-day -day stuff, the people with hyperthermesia, they remember all that little day-to-day -day petty stuff that, and it's a chore for them. I don't have hyperthermesia, but you mix this with the other, they call it a disorder because people refer to being tortured by those memories, that that's all they think about, that stays on their mind all the time. Every little thing I do, you're on my mind. The way I feel about you is driving me. And some of them are driven crazy as a result. Hyperthermesia. Huh. That's the word of the month. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, I don't have hyperthymesia or anything to the degree of hyperthermesia. What I had was the ability to remember what I heard. Now, there are people who remember what they see and what they hear. I am not so much caring in my life about remembering what I see. As a matter of fact, the visual is horrible for me. So I'm glad I don't have that issue because, as I've explained, having that stay in my mind because it will stay and it will be permanent and i'll never forget the image matter of fact i remember to this day my best friend lying in that coffin and each time i went to that particular funeral parlor to see him i remember that and i am tormented by that because nobody wants to see somebody dead especially somebody they care about which is why I didn't go to my mother's funeral. Why would I want that image in my head for the rest of my life? Again, my mother understood this. She knew about my memory. And she knew exactly how I would feel. Um, and I'm not the only one. My family members, for the most part, have similar type memory issues. Won't go into all the details. <clears throat> I recognized this when I was a kid. 
I, when my father passed, he had drowned and he had been in the water for greater than five days, face up. So that's what the sun beating down on him. It took him that long to find him. And you can imagine the disformation of the body being in water and the sun beating down on it for five straight days. Well, technically not five straight days because, you know, you had the half a day with the sun and half a day with the moon, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, my eldest brother, who was a junior, went to go claim the body. And I literally told them, no. I told them, don't let him do that. I will go. I said, he won't be able to handle that. Ladies and gentlemen, people don't listen to me. And he didn't listen to me. And that individual has never been the same since. Literally has never been the same since. Has never been the same person. Has never done the same things. He had a life ahead of him. And he ended his life ahead of him, not by committing suicide, but by literally being, what did um, KRS and him say? Self-destruction. Talking about self-destruction. Ah, self-destruction. You're headed for self-destruction. That's where he went. Literally just damaging his own life day after day after day. Imagine that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about this because this was on my mind when I woke up. Audible memory, photographic memory. Now, I talk about people who are like me, and the reason why there are people who sound like me, there are people, sometimes people who act like me, and I don't mean with the antics and all that, but people who act like me with a similar personality. But very seldom do I meet someone who is like me. What do I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, when I speak of meeting someone who is like me, I speak of someone who understands the blight of memory. You know, you'll hear some people talk about remembering things being a curse. Well, for me, it is. But then I also have something else. I have the ability of feeling someone else's pain. So watch this. See, now this thing, the curse of remembering everything. <laughs> okay? Hyperthermesia. So the C-O-U-R-S-E of F-E-E-L-I-N-G O-T-H-E-R P-A-I-N I want you to understand this is another problem I have. Feeling others' pain. Okay? I don't want that. Nope. 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 It has nothing to do with empathy. See, none of these talk about it. None of these talk about... Wait, why do I feel others' pain? Empath. Now, see, that gets into that, I'm a psychopath, yeah, and then I'm a... Oh. What is she talking about? And she she's saying empath. I, I don't hold on to that thing about empath. Uh, no, we don't want that. Nope, because that's not the official term. So, nope, can't find a single, I, there's a video up there that talked about it, but uh, I don't feel people's joy, ladies and gentlemen. I feel their pain. Big, huge difference between feeling somebody's joy and feeling someone's pain. Oh, and see, psychic empath. Oh, God. Um, where empathy and empath, I get it. Ha <laughs> ha, that makes so much sense, whatever. 
<sighs> being upset on their behalf, weight of the world, tapping with I don't know. Practice great self care. Seek appropriate professional help. Remember, take full responsibility for your well being. Oh, Lord. Let's see if we can uh, do something here. I'm not going to listen to them because I'm not interested in the video because it's not. Oh, we got to skip past them. We ain't got time for no commercials. Get on out of here. Shoot. I don't know what YouTube be doing wanting to show us commercials all the time. I, I didn't get YouTube for no stupid commercial. Shoot. Come on, reset. Hurry up. It's skipping the ad, y'all. I apologize. This is the video right here. Got to get past them ads. They just like be 20, 30, 40 ads. I don't understand that. 20, 30, 40. I, I mean, like like they doing math. Matt, be quiet. I said I didn't want to hear what you had to say. So, uh, nope. Handling emotional pain. Control your mind. Tapping through pain. And fear of letting people down. Grief. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody talks about it. They talk about it a little bit, but they don't talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. It is been my entire life the entire time that i've been alive that i can remember remembering anything is seeing somebody in pain and feeling their pain that's why i hated hospitals that's why i hate funerals um pain is not a sensation i look forward to experiencing and when dealing with life that is a huge thing that we experience is pain Nobody looks forward to pain. And the uh, greatest and most painful period in my life was being in that hospital or being in hospitals and walking past each room. I can't take anybody's pain away, but I can guarantee you <clears throat> that I can feel. I feel your pain. <laughs> and I promise you, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. No, it wasn't sexual, dude. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> eventually I am going to put out a video seeking individuals who have the audio or photographical, not uh, f phonographical, not photographical, phonographical memories. Um, those are the people I'm going to be looking for to put together a little project, a little uh, venture. Uh -uh. Just because you remember what you did yesterday, don't qualify you. Y'all know what I mean. I'm going to have people talking about, you know, I remember. I remember when we used to play a shoot 'em up. Okay, I don't want them type of people. Excuse me? And we just passed it right on by. Yes, we did. And it became one of my greatest records. Now, I want you to sit back and think back to your, everybody, think back to your very first time. Now, I know some of you have to think back a little bit. We don't want those type of people. I'm not talking about them. I'm going to let y'all know what I'm looking for when I'm looking for it. Whew. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> The other thing you're going to find is there's a lot of short videos put up. We've got personality. What? Personality. What? Personality. Who? See, short videos, short videos, short videos. This is taken from a 2012 video. But when you listen to it, it sounds like the information is pertinent today because I'm actually reading from the law in this 2012 video. Pay attention to it. Look at the little short sections. Listen to it. Talking about the minor account. All of this stuff we've been talking about already, ladies and gentlemen. There is no pay attention. There is no new information. The people you're listening to today, all they're doing is going back to people like me, getting those old videos and regurgitating the same information. Okay? Just that simple. Now, this is recent. But I'm talking about these videos. That's why that one's 43 minutes. But all the ones that are a minute, 
those are the ones that come from that previous video. This one, how to become tax exempt. No, not that one. That's one I just did. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would definitely pay attention to the how to become tax exempt. That video is very short, but it's powerful. All right, enough of that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a SACCOM meeting where we're talking with the SACCOM staff. I'll put up the second half of the meeting shortly. What you all need to understand about the SACCOM meeting that we had is that it, what's the, what am I looking to try to get you guys to understand? The SACCOM meeting that we had that you're just hearing the audio in this video, this is just the audio. We're talking about tax credits. We're talking about what people are supposed to do with their tax credits. What the law says they should do with their tax credits. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, a hundred videos in one month. Now that's well that's cheating. No, that's not cheating. This is actually me taking time to put all of this together to have a software to work on this. And put this together. We'll be doing it from videos for videos from now on. People, your videos are too long. And you'll see with the shorter videos, you're not getting enough information to give you the ability of putting it all together. Later, I'll put the video links in here. But right now, I just don't have the time. the The original video link, I will put it in here. But all you got to do is go to my site. It's the video that says it has the most views. That's this video right here. We're going to do the second and third video, and then we're going to do, well, we're going to do this video first. The one talking about the credits, we're going to put that in there first. And then after we do that, we'll do the other second half of this video. So I got to put this stuff together between today and tomorrow. I'm not looking. I've done 100 videos this month. I'm satisfied with the word 100. Wasn't trying to get to 100. That's the problem. I wasn't even trying to get to 100 at all. Nowhere near 100. But it just worked out that way. Like I said, I'm in an information funnel process right now. Because I am going to get to a point where I'm not going to be able to retain the information. Now remember, these are taken from older videos. I'm, I'm not going to sit up there and put no warning or notifications in these videos. This is taken from a video in 2012. Some of the information needs to be updated. I'm just putting the information out there so you can see what was talked about then. 2012. Pay attention. We were talking about the Treasury Direct Minor Account in 2012, people. Just that simple. 2012. We were talking about adding the father's name to the birth certificate. Then we were talking about the custodian of the infant account. Oh, my God. Okay. Then talking about the age of the majority. Just had a conversation with someone yesterday um, notifying the state and everyone else that you've attained the age of the majority. Okay, you ain't got to go through no hoops with them. If you really want to document it, then go to small claims court. Get a record started. If only you guys knew what small claims court leads to. Yes, okay, let them rule against you. That's why you appeal it all the way to the top. That's the process. That is the process. I'm about to demonstrate it. Y'all just hold on. Because ah, it's coming. Hold on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever, I will be letting you all go because I got some stuff I need to take care of. And with that being the case, I got I to gotta finish this paperwork. It's because of the interference, and I do believe that the interference is intentional. It's time for me to look past the interference and get you guys what you need. All right, take care of yourselves. We'll be back shortly. Have a good day.